Long walks on the beach. I'm currently single. Anyone available? Find me on Tinder. I'll get back to you very shortly. This is Sean. He's a park manager. Welcome, guys. Thanks for coming. Appreciate it. Yeah. Appreciate it. Yeah. You guys ready for tomorrow? Yeah. Ready for a butter. Yeah. If you make if you make one mistake. On a supercross track, when it's money like that, you know, you're screwed. Yeah. Like instantaneously. In the first lap, if you do anything, like 20 guys get by and you can't pass anybody. Yeah. Yeah. What you should do? What's your interview? What do you think is winning this weekend? Mm. 450, 250. 250. I gotta be biased. I think Hill's gonna take it. Uh, yeah, Hill's gonna take you know this. Your brother's one. racing. Yeah, I do. But I mean, we gotta get top ten first before we win. So, you know, you got baby steps. I'll be happy with top ten. Top ten will be good. I'm Connor Elliott, and uh, I was on the Barn Post team in 2014 and 2015, my first year of Supercross in 14. And uh, I kind of met Steve back a little bit before then when I was still kind of riding locally and amateur. And, uh, you know, Steve saw something in me and gave me an opportunity. And it was a great, it was actually a really great um, first year with the team and, and watching Barn Post grow. And, uh, everyone here helping me out. I'm Ryder Steffi. I raced for Barn Pros Racing in 2013. 
I was uh, one of the first, uh, one of the first guys with the semi. Uh, great experience, loved every part of it. It was just ground roots, just starting off, and uh, it was definitely a building experience. You know, seeing the team now compared to what it was like. I mean, it was absolutely legit then, and uh, what it's grown to is just beyond belief. You know, I mean, it's legit. It's every part of what any team is out here. It's it's the real deal now, and it's just cool to be able to be part of it, still be able to show up in the pits and just enjoy the time with the BPR team. Hey, it's Ryan Abrigo here, uh, number 402. Been with the Barn Pros team since day one, and uh, pretty much Steve's very first rider ever. So uh, it's pretty cool to see the team uh, transform to what it is today. Remember when uh, Steve helped me out, it was just, uh, you know, just his rig, his little personal rig, and helped me out with some bikes and some product. and. You know, his goal, he always told me he wanted to be on Supercross, wanted to be there at the races, and uh, he never gave up on his dream, and uh, it's pretty amazing to see, you know, it transpire to what it is now with the Barn Pros Racing uh, Semi here in the pits, and got some awesome riders on the team, so uh, it's really cool, and it's awesome that we're here in Seattle again with them. When they built it, it was the ball. I mean, it was perfect. Yeah. And then they couldn't run two strokes because of the noise. Right. Well, they did at first, and then they got shut out. Damn, you got to sign quickly. Yeah. Hey, I'm five seven. Hi. Welcome to Seattle Supercross. We're on a huge rain delay. Very, very, very fun and friendly environment with such an amazing, wonderful team and glorious fans here in Seattle. Just the biggest Seahawks online. <laughs> in reality, I'm not making any predictions. I'm hoping for the best, looking for the best, expecting the best. I'm not going to say anything other than that. It's gonna be rutted and it's gonna be rocky. <laughs> I think there's a few rocks. <laughs> Hold on. This actually is a thunder egg. If you cut this open, it's got a whole bunch of pretty colors inside. <laughs> Andrew, can you put on hand guards? Dang it. It's gonna be soft. I know, I'm kinda like. I'm kind of like, I know the knob will work, but then I just keep looking at it like this is so sandy and soft. I just feel like the paddle is going to have That's unlimited what I'm saying. traction. I think the sand is going to be. I mean, the rocks don't don't matter. Yeah. But like, the people that stand on the top it's totally waterlogged. Like, you can just bounce off. I know, it's real sandy. It's totally sandy. I mean, it will definitely work. I just don't know. The track's going to be fine. I don't think it will be bad at all. That's the thing. We're, uh, we're looking to put on a little paddle tire that Golden Tire makes, so it's pretty soft and sandy right now, so I think we're going to put that on. Um, it might get a little harder as the night goes on, so we might go back to a regular tire, but I think we're going to put that, that little paddle on. I think they're going to go off the well. This is their kind of dirt, right? Isn't Porn Pros from here? Yep. Oh, there you go. Home, home field advantage. I'm, I'm calling top 10.
Uh, so we had a night, tough, tough night with Chris Aldridge tonight. He, uh, Chris ended up coming out and uh, I mean, Chris was, Chris is everything we wanted him to be tonight. He showed up early, he had a great attitude, he had a lot of fun, interacted with the fans, went out in the first qualifier, or the only qualifier that we had today, and uh, unfortunately uh, went down and got landed on by McElrath. Uh, it wasn't McElrath's fault, it just was an unfortunate racing incident. And uh, ended up going to Harborview Hospital tonight. Uh, ended up with a lot of, lot of little small injuries, uh, cracked pelvis, uh, cracks in his L1, L2, L3, lacerated uh, adrenal gland, and, and you know just a lot of, lot of internal injuries and stuff. He's going to be okay, but they're going to keep him over for the next few nights just to monitor him, make sure that they don't have to do any surgery. And uh, obviously, we are absolutely bummed out for for Chris and his family and everything else. Than a win in the LCQ. Yeah, got on the podium. Still fun. Got on the podium. You finished the main strong, dude. 12th overall. With some stuff, guys. I mean, Reardon and, and Hanson. Hey, we'll take. All right. Yeah, we ended up not making the main tonight. Um, had a fever and got a pretty bad sickness last night. So I've been dealing with that and uh, just had nothing in the LCQ. I uh, went down in the heat race in the first corner, so that was kind of a bummer, and ended up sixth in the LCQ. So, try to get better and get, get ready for Salt Lake. LCQ went good, whole shot from the very outside and just never looked back. Just rode his own race, checked out, and took the win. Maine, well, Maine was a little interesting tonight with, uh, with the red flag, but first start wasn't too good, kind of mid-pack, shuffled around, um, was running, 12th, 11th or 12th, uh, red flag came out, went back, ripped an awesome start. Um, fourth place start, was running up there, made a mistake, went back to 10th, ran 10th for, I would say, till about four minutes ago, got passed for 10th, and then run 11th and got passed for 12th, and that's where I ended up. Good night. With the break that we had, I I didn't even take a break really. All it was was just work on work on work, more work. Three days in the gym with Charles Dow, two, two days with Nick Way, two days cycling. And on top of that, just all sorts of work, man. It, it really showed though, my fitness was way better. Still needs a little bit of work, but night and day difference. I couldn't thank Charles and Nick enough. Uh, I feel like my, my speed's good enough to run top 10. I was with those guys, I was with, uh, I was with Chisholm. I was with Martinez in the top 10. I just need that last, that last five minutes plus one. I just, I need that intensity that I have at the first. And if I do that, I believe I can run in the top 10. Hey guys, we're here today with Barn Pros, Ride Motorsports, Home Depot, Motul Yamaha. These guys are running our SX Series foot pegs on all their bikes. Our foot pegs provide a better grip and a wider platform. And if you're interested in looking at our foot pegs, check them out on flowmotorsports.com. That's F-L-O motorsports.com.